The film begins with Ronnie, a young woman with a complicated past. On this particular day, Ronnie and her younger brother, Jonah, were embarking on a summer vacation in their father's hometown. Jonah was filled with joy at the prospect of seeing their father, but Ronnie seemed disinterested, almost detached. Ever since their parents' divorce, she had transformed into a rebellious soul, forsaking her piano playing and even rejecting a scholarship to Juilliard. The memories of her father were too painful, and she wanted nothing more than to bury them deep within. Soon after, Ronnie continued to walk until she found herself immersed in a bustling night market. Holding a drink in her hand, she navigated the lively crowd until a chance encounter with a young man named Will disrupted her path, causing her drink to spill and drench her clothes. Consumed by guilt, Will quickly apologized and offered to buy her new attire. Although his gesture struck a chord within Ronnie, reminding her of her unresolved feelings, she promptly declined his offer, guarding her emotions. Amidst the array of clothing options, Ronnie found herself face to face with a woman who exuded a familiar aura. Her name was Blaze, and their connection was immediate. With warmth and ease, Blaze picked out a shirt for Ronnie, teasing her playfully, suggesting that she might borrow it. Ronnie, however, recoiled at the thought. She had succumbed to such temptations in the past, an act that had left her with deep regrets. And so, she confided in Blaze, revealing the pain of growing up in a broken home. To lift Ronnie's spirits, Blaze extended an invitation for Ronnie to join her in watching her boyfriend, Marcus, perform. As they enjoyed the show, Ronnie's path crossed with Will once more, his gaze fixed upon her with unwavering intensity. In his heart, he made a silent vow that he would one day win her heart and become her lover. Upon returning home, Ronnie was taken aback to discover her father playing the piano. The sight left her momentarily stunned, prompting her to retreat to her room. To her surprise, she realized she would be sharing the space with her brother. This unexpected arrangement infuriated Ronnie, and she vented her frustration to Jonah, her younger brother. Meanwhile, Jonah, hoping to prevent their father from slipping away again, urged Ronnie to thaw the coldness between them. His words only served to further irritate her, pushing her to confront her father directly. She demanded that he cease playing the piano, threatening to sleep outside the house if her plea fell on deaf ears. Soon after, a heated debate ensued between father and daughter as Ronnie stubbornly declared her refusal to set foot in Juilliard, the world-renowned music campus. In response, her father issued a heartfelt warning, urging her not to suppress her dreams of becoming a pianist and to avoid letting anger cloud her judgment. The following day, Ronnie found solace in the serenity of the beach that lay just outside the house. On the way back, a chance encounter caught her attention and it was a raccoon feasting on turtle eggs nestled in the sand. Instantly, her instincts kicked in, compelling them to protect the delicate eggs with unwavering determination. Soon after, Steve as Ronnie's father approached, expressing his frustration at being unable to contact the aquarium keeper due to his phone being off. There, he recognizing a solution, suggested using the home phone. Shortly after, Ronnie acted promptly, without a second thought, following her father's advice. Witnessing Ronnie's willingness to heed his words, Steve's face lit up with an eerie smile that seemed somewhat unsettling. Later that afternoon, Ronnie visited a bookstore and purchased a book about sea turtles. Settling into a cozy cafe, they immersed themselves in the pages. Shortly after, Will as the mechanic appear unexpectedly. Unmindful of the oil stains on his clothes, Will approached Ronnie, explaining how their encounter from the previous day had troubled his thoughts, robbing him of sleep. Viewing it as mere talk, Ronnie brushed off his words, paying them little attention before hastily departing from the cafe. Upon returning home, Ronnie's anticipation turned to disappointment as there was no news from the aquarium keeper. Resigned to her fate, she decided to spend the night near the turtle eggs. However, her tranquility was shattered when she witnessed the eerie arrival of a ghost-like raccoon, sending shivers down her spine. The following morning, Ronnie was awakened by Will, who, to her surprise, revealed himself as a volunteer aquarium keeper. This revelation sparked anger within Ronnie because if Will arrived earlier, she wouldn't have had to endure a sleepless night outside, waking up in disarray. At that time, she wished for Will to understand her suffering, the chilling cold of the night combined with the fearful presence of the raccoons. With that thought, she swiftly distanced herself from him. Afterward, while perusing items in a shop, unbeknownst to Ronnie, Blaze discreetly slipped a bracelet into her bag. Her actions were driven by jealousy, having witnessed Marcus, her boyfriend, spending time alone with Ronnie, even though Marcus had a reputation for being interested in many women. Soon after, Ronnie attempted to explain the truth, but Blaze's heart and eyes remained close to reason. As Ronnie tried to dismiss Blaze, an alarm suddenly blared, drawing everyone's attention. To her utter shock, the shopkeeper discovered the bracelet in Ronnie's bag. Disheartened, Ronnie found herself facing disbelief from those around her, including her brother's scolding. However, as she continued to explain, her father eventually placed his trust in her, believing she was innocent of theft. 
At night, Ronnie returned to the sacred task of safeguarding the precious turtle eggs. Though granted protection, she knew that vigilance was paramount. To her surprise, she crossed paths with Will, who expressed a desire to join her. Initially, Ronnie hesitated, suspicious of Will's intentions, believing he sought to win her over. However, he countered her doubts, asserting that he already had a fiancé. Alas, it was a ruse, shattering Ronnie's trust and leaving her distraught. Unbeknownst to them, Jonah and Steve observed the unfolding scene from a distance. Concerned for his daughter's well-being, Steve swiftly intervened, urging them to maintain their distance, as they were not related. The following morning, act like a soldier on a mission, Jonah appeared with breakfast in hand for Ronnie and Will. Soon after, he departed, leaving the two alone. In that moment, Will summoned the courage to invite Ronnie on a date to a magnificent aquarium. Tentatively, she accepted, yet she insisted that it was merely an opportunity for fresh air and nothing more. From that moment, they became an item, their bond official and undeniable. As Ronnie accompanied Will to a lively game of volleyball, Ashley, his former flame, approached her with a cautionary tale, branding Will as a notorious heartbreaker. The revelation struck Ronnie's heart like a thunderbolt, instantly deflating her burgeoning hope. When Will came back home, Ronnie quickly told him to leave and went into her room. At the same time, Steve saw this happen and thought it was strange how women act sometimes. He talked to Will about it, expressing how confused he was. However, Will didn't give up. He patiently waited for Ronnie outside her house. At that time, Steve and Jonah couldn't bear to see Will looking so sad, so they talked to Ronnie and begged her to make up with him. There, they had a heartfelt conversation, and Ronnie let out all her frustrations on Will. She was scared that she would end up like other girls who were left behind once Will got tired of playing with their feelings. Then something surprising happened. Will impulsively kissed Ronnie, trying to show her how much he cared. In that moment, their relationship got better and stronger again. Later, while they were driving and singing karaoke together, their happiness was suddenly interrupted. Their car got stuck in thick mud and couldn't move. At that time, Will tried hard to free the car, but the mud fought back and splashed him with dirty mud. Ronnie couldn't help but laugh at this funny situation and teasingly made fun of Will. Instead of getting upset, they both decided to enjoy the mud and have fun together. At that moment, Will and Ronnie were completely covered in mud, making them look really funny. They needed to clean up, so he invited her to his house. To Ronnie's surprise, Will's house was like a fancy palace. She didn't know that his family was very rich. It turned out Will was actually going to inherit a big business with lots of workshops all over the country. Ronnie felt a bit overwhelmed and thought she wasn't as good as him because she didn't have lots of money. But Will told her that money didn't matter in their relationship and reassured her. After they cleaned up, Will asked Ronnie to have dinner with his parents. But when his mom found out that Ronnie had stopped going to school, she didn't like it. She didn't think Ronnie was a good match for him. Tricky as she was, Will's mom brought up his brother's wedding and suggested that Ronnie could come as just a friend. This made her feel silly and she quickly left. However, Will didn't want any more misunderstandings, so he finally told Ronnie the whole story of his life. He talked about how his older brother had died in a car accident and how his parents were going to separate. This was why he used to play with girls' hearts before he met Ronnie. He was trying to fill the empty space inside him. But now, his heart felt peaceful with Ronnie and he promised to always be loyal to her. When Ronnie heard this honest explanation, she hugged Will and their bond became even stronger. To make things happier, she started playing the piano again and brought joy back into their lives. On that fateful evening, Ronnie mustered the courage to confide in her father about her newfound love. As the words escaped her lips, Steve absorbed the news with a knowing smile. Aware of the transformative power of love, he offered gentle words of caution, urging Ronnie not to lose herself in the depths of infatuation. Overwhelmed by her father's wisdom and affection, she embraced him tightly, feeling the warmth of his love enveloping her. With the dawn of a new day, Ronnie extended an invitation to her father and Jonah to witness Will's exhilarating volleyball match. Amidst the buzz of the crowd, her ears inadvertently caught fragments of a conversation, discussing her father's alleged involvement in a devastating church fire. Determined not to let the unsettling rumors cloud her mind, Ronnie resolutely focused on rallying behind her boyfriend, lending unwavering support. And so, the story unfolded, culminating in a triumphant victory for Will's spirited volleyball team. In the afternoon, Jonah raced towards Ronnie, clutching an invitation to Will's upcoming wedding, radiating excitement and joy. Suddenly, a serene calm washed over Ronnie, like a gentle breeze on a tranquil day. Eagerly, she shared the joyous news with her father, who without a moment's hesitation, lovingly presented her with money to purchase a beautiful dress for the occasion. In the midst of it all, a memory resurfaced in Ronnie's mind, a bitter joke that targeted her father. It was a tale of Steve, who had innocently dozed off during a church service due to the effects of his medication, only to wake up disoriented on the roadside. 
At that time, Ronnie couldn't fathom why her father was being blamed for an incident that was far from his fault. Feeling the weight of this injustice, she sought solace in the company of Will, sharing all her troubles. There, Will, determined to shield Ronnie from despair, offered reassuring words, assuring her that everything would eventually be alright. The following day, as Ronnie ventured out for a shopping excursion, she stumbled upon Blaze, who had just been heartlessly abandoned by Marcus. Blaze found herself homeless and destitute. Touched by Blaze's plight, Ronnie selflessly handed over her shopping money, providing Blaze with a lifeline. In the end, Ronnie returned home empty-handed, although vexed by her brother's actions. Despite his initial annoyance, Jonah relented, surrendering his hard-earned savings to assist Ronnie in purchasing a dress. Side by side, brother and sister embarked on the quest to find the perfect attire. And so, the day arrived when Steve accompanied Ronnie to the grand event. Concerned for his daughter's well-being, Steve advised Will to steer clear of any foolish antics that might bring embarrassment. Soon after, Ronnie unexpectedly crossed paths with Blaze, who now toiled as a waitress. Gratitude emanated from Blaze's heart, acknowledging Ronnie's kindness despite the ill treatment she had previously received. However, the harmony was short-lived as Marcus abruptly appeared, seeking out Blaze. Faced with rejection, he unleashed his fury, disturbing the peaceful atmosphere of Will's wedding celebration. When Ronnie came back home, she got a big surprise. It turned out the turtle eggs had hatched and cute little baby turtles were born. At that moment, Ronnie, Will, and Jonah were so happy and excited. Then, they ran to see the tiny turtles and wanted to help them go into the big ocean. But then something sad happened. Steve, who was very strong, suddenly fell down and had to go to the hospital. Ronnie learned that her dad had a very serious sickness called cancer and didn't have much time left to live. It made her and her friends very sad. At that time, Ronnie felt like her whole world was falling apart. She was really upset and confused because her dad hadn't told her the truth about his sickness earlier. She wished she had known from the beginning, so she could have been there for him and not kept the secret inside her heart. On the other hand, Jonah also felt worried because his dad was also sick, but nobody had told him. When Ronnie told him about her dad, it made Jonah even more upset. He wondered why his dad had to suffer if he was a good person. One night, Ronnie heard a noise in the warehouse. She followed the sound and found Jonah working hard on the stained glass windows that his dad couldn't finish anymore. Even though he was sad, Jonah was determined to complete the work. Will saw what Jonah was doing and told him that he would always be there to support him and help him through this difficult time. As each day passed, Steve's health grew more uncertain and worrisome. Determined not to spend the remainder of his days confined to a hospital bed, he made the heartfelt decision to return home. To his surprise, Jonah presented him with a joyful surprise which was a set of completed glass windows awaiting installation in the church. Upon arriving home, Steve was joined by Will and a friend. It was then that Will's friend courageously confessed to being responsible for the devastating fire that had consumed the church. With genuine remorse, they offered sincere apologies to Steve, fully prepared to face the consequences if he chose to involve the authorities. However, Steve, already aware of the truth, chose forgiveness. The past had been left behind, and the church now stood restored. Unbeknownst to the others, Ronnie overheard their conversation, her anger mounting. She couldn't bear the thought of Will concealing the truth. Fueled by her frustration, Ronnie took a firm stance and abruptly broke up with him, seeking solace in the comforting embrace of her mother, who had coincidentally arrived. Her mother's purpose was to collect Jonah and Ronnie, urging them to swiftly return to their home. However, Ronnie firmly said no to the invitation because she wanted to stay with her dad, who was very sick. Jonah also said no because he wanted to be with his dad too. Jonah's dad told him that he would always be with him, even if he couldn't be there physically. He said he would send love and light through the sunlight that shines through the windows. Jonah had to go back home, even though he didn't want to, because school was starting again. As the days melted away, Ronnie stumbled upon a neglected stack of letters. Curiosity beckoned her to delve into their contents. One by one, she immersed herself in the heartfelt words penned by her father. To her surprise, the letters overflowed with unwavering love and admiration, even in the face of her academic struggles. As she read the letters, she started to understand something important. Her dad leaving wasn't because he didn't love her. It was because he felt very sad and hurt because her parents got divorced. Moved by this newfound understanding, Ronnie joined her father on the terrace of their home. There, Steve's eyes brimmed with hope, urging her to pursue her dream of becoming a pianist once more. His wish was not driven by a desire to please himself or her mother, but rather to see Ronnie embrace her own happiness. As her father had wisely imparted, music and love held the key to her joy. That night, Ronnie endeavored to complete the song her father had composed, a piece specifically dedicated to her. With bittersweet determination, she poured her heart and soul into every note. But as fate would have it, just as Ronnie finished the song, her father breathed his final breath. That night, Steve had departed from this world, leaving a void that resonated not only within Ronnie's heart but also reverberated through the universe itself. 
On the sad day when Ronnie's dad's funeral took place, she gave a heartfelt speech to remember him. Afterward, she found comfort at the piano. She played a special song that her dad loved, feeling like he was watching from above and enjoying the music. As Ronnie played, the sunlight coming through the window made her feel like her dad's spirit was there with her. Later, Ronnie talked to the people who came to the funeral. It made her feel better to be with them and know they cared. Shortly after, Will came to her and told her how much he admired her piano playing. He said her dad would be very proud to have her as his daughter. A month later, Ronnie was going through her dad's things and she made a big decision. She decided to try and get a scholarship to go to a special music school called Juilliard. She knew life had to go on even though she was still sad about her dad. Then, something surprising happened. Will came and told Ronnie his own news. He had decided to go to college in the same place as her. He said he realized that everyone makes mistakes, even the person Ronnie used to love. With their new understanding and their love coming back, they started a new chapter together, giving their relationship another chance. The film ends. The moral lesson of this film is sometimes, mud can lead to love and turtles can teach us about forgiveness.